Let's take a quick look at the sitar and the aspects of it that we'd like to incorporate into the electric guitar design. So first of all the sympathetic strings. Now these are a separate set of strings and they're tuned to the scale that you're playing. So they've got their own tuning pegs here and they go underneath the frets on the sitar. So you change it depending on what uh, scale you're playing. So it means any time I play a note then there's another string which is resonating just after me playing it. So there's the main string and you can hear that resonating. But if I silence the sympathetic strings and play that note at the same time, which is quite difficult to do because there's so many of them, then that's the sound of that single string on its own. And then here it is with all of them again. So it gives so much more texture. And especially if you play a low note, you can hear an octave above that because the sympathetics are tuned to the upper octave of the instrument. So that middle octave has the higher octave on top of it, so it really textures the sound and it's an intrinsic part of the sound of Indian music, this um, aspect of sympathetic strings. The other aspect of the sitar we'd like to borrow from are the chikari strings. Now these strings are they're situated just above the main playing string. So imagine I'm playing a melody and in between those notes I can have a different rhythm going on with the chikari. You can also just use it to fill little blank spaces like So essentially this is a separate sound source within the instrument. It sounds so different to the fretted notes that it essentially makes the instrument more multi-dimensional. So there's different textures and different tones of string that are being produced, making an overall colour, an overall landscape of the instrument.